In this segment we're going to have a look at creating and modifying tables of contents and we're going to be working with the procedures contents uh, practice file which you can find in the chapter 13 uh, folder of the practice files. Now in order to insert a table of contents first of all you need to click in the document where you want that table of contents to go so here we want the office procedures header but we want it before the general administration text you want the references tab on the ribbon and the very first option here is table of contents so we'll click on that now there are uh, uh, automatic tables of contents here that you can uh, insert there's a couple of automatic ones or there's one in which you get manual control. You can also get more online from office.com or um, there are manual controls down here. So we'll have a look at the uh, have a look at an automatic one first. If we click on this, then we'll see here that general administration has been chunted down and a table of contents has been inserted uh, uh, with all the uh, the headers and uh, information and page numbers appropriate. If we change anything in the document, then we can press the Update Table button here next to Tables of Contents. And do we want to update page numbers only or the entire table? Choose an option and press OK. Now, let's undo this Table of Contents and we'll have a look at a manual one. Again, click on Table of Contents and we've got Manual Table here. Now, uh, we can uh, uh, type the information that we want in the table of contents here if we really want to do it all manually but we can get even more control like that on an automatic one by selecting insert table of contents from the bottom of this menu now here is where we get the real control there's all sorts of information here um, including uh, print previews here of how our table of contents will look we can change the tab leader um, we've got options here to um, uh, use styles from within the document and we can modify all the different table of contents sections right down to the font that they use, the uh, style that they use and so on. So let's say we want Calibri for that uh, in 12 and we can see in a preview here what it's going to look like. So we've changed that press OK. Now look at this preview behind us, press OK and we'll see that the heading 1 style has changed. There's huge amounts of information uh, of control you've got here um, including being able to change um, things like the, the color of the um, header for instance so we can change it to let's say a, a lighter blue, press OK and we can see that's changed so there's a great deal of uh, control we have here on inserting tables of contents and we can see that it's done it for us. Remember you've got the update table button which you can use when you change the document. Now in the next uh, segment we're going to be look at looking at creating and modifying indexes. Now that we've had a look at inserting tables of contents let's have a look at inserting an index and for this exercise we're going to be using the rules index practice file in the chapter 13 folder. Now what we first need to be able to do when creating an index is highlight uh, words in the document that are going to be part of that index that, that we're going to want to index. Okay, So we want to click on the references tab here and we'll see we have indexing options. So we want to highlight the words that we want to index. Let's highlight declaration and we want to press the mark entry button. Now do we want one instance of this word or all instances of this word to be in the index? Well let's say, on, let's say we want all of them here and we'll see that a, uh, a reference here has been placed after each instance of that word. Again with bylaws, double click on the word to select it, press mark entry, yes we'll have them all. Let's say we want uh, board, double click on that, mark entry, we'll have all of those. Again, owner, mark entry and we'll have all of those as well. We'll pick some more, 
apartment mark entry we'll just have the one here and uh, we'll have a common area so we'll select all of that mark entry and we want all of those so now we want to move to the end of the document here and we will insert a new blank page again next to the mark entry we have an insert index button and um, in the same way as we have with table of contents we have a modify button here where we can uh, modify all the, the different types of uh, entry down to their text uh, formatting and text color so we can change the uh, uh, the text colors of each one let's make the make it dark blue for index one here and uh, you'll see a preview here of what it will look like and if we press OK then our index is automatically added for us with all the page numbers intact. The only downside to adding an index is of course you have to mark each entry within your document and obviously in a large document this can be time consuming but as I say you've got a mark all option and it can make it much easier for you to create an index. Now in the next section we're going to be look at uh, bibliographies. Okay, so now we've looked at tables of contents and indexes, let's have a look at sources and bibliographies. And for this exercise we're going to be using the practice file Bamboo Bibliography, which is not an easy thing to say on a good day. And you can find that in the Chapter 13 folder. Now the Bibliography tools are in the References tab on the ribbon. And first things first, we want to be able to select a bibliography style so you can pull down the drop down box next to that and there's quite a few here to choose from we want to choose Chicago 15th edition now we want to be able to uh, enter our sources for the document so we want to press the manage sources button and we want to add a new one so press the new button now it's a book here we've got other options in this drop down but it's a book so we'll type in the author which is Goldberg Joseph, uh, the title of the book is Black Bamboo, the year 2008, and the publisher is Litware, and press OK when we're done. Now we want to be able to add a second uh, source, so we'll press New again. This again is a book, but rather than type the author in, we'll press the Edit button to the side, and we'll enter the author in uh, here. The reason that uh, you might find this useful is if you have multiple authors for a book so we can add this author and then we can add another author for the book if needs be. The title for the book is Bamboo Garden the year 2009 and the publisher is Lucerne Publishing. Press OK when we're ready. Now we need to make sure that the current list all contains the uh, references that we need and if they don't then we can click on uh, each reference and press the copy button to copy it over to the current, uh, current list. So press close when we're done. Now let's have a look at the bottom of this first paragraph here and we've got um, a sentence here, entire books have been written on the subject including black bamboo and bamboo garden so let's insert a, uh, a uh, citation here so we'll click to the right of black bamboo and click on insert citation and here we've got black bamboo in our little drop down list and we can select that and it's automatically inserted again we'll click to the right of bamboo garden click insert citation again and it's already inserted now we want to be able to insert another one here where it says entire books so we will uh, click to the right of entire books uh, here and we want to do an insert citation and add a new source from the list this time we want to add a website so the author uh, of the website is the 
American Bamboo Society and uh, the uh, URL of the website here is AmericanBamboo.org forward slash books on bamboo.html and the year we can put down as 2006 so here we can copy American Bamboo Society we can paste that into the name of the web page and put books on bamboo and press OK when we're ready and we have here our new uh, our new citation there. Now at the end of the document we want to be able to add our bibliography so we'll insert a new page which you can do by holding down the control key and pressing enter and here we have the last button in the citations and bibliography section the bibliography button itself so we can insert a bibliography or works cited there's also an insert bibliography link here so that you uh, can uh, customize it but we'll undo that we want an automatic one so we'll insert a bibliography and there we have a bibliography already formatted to the style that we need now in the next section we're going to work with mail merge and look at that in detail